Hi, I'm Roxanne Easter, and I'll be doing a monologue from Precious Little Talent by Ella Hickson. And we're sitting there, stony still, not moving a muscle. And then suddenly, as if we're in an old-fashioned movie, my hand in his back pocket has somehow managed to turn his iPod on. And out of his headphones, across the freezing night, comes the moonlit sonata. Americans, what are they like? Uh, he's looking so sincere and earnest. And he won't look away. And it, it all just somehow becomes, becomes too much and I just want to sort of pop the moment so I I lick him. <laughs> I grab his hand and I start running down all these fire escapes and down all these streets I've never been before. And I keep going. You know in that way when you're a little bit drunk and you are totally convinced you should be in the Olympics? Or you're Rocky? Or And I keep running and running. And have you ever felt that? Like you just want to run so fucking badly and nowhere is far enough. My feet keep running faster and faster and the cold hurts my chest and my teeth ache and... He asks if I want to take the subway. <laughs> the train feels good. <laughs> the window's flashing and the face is going past. It lets you think for a second. It lets you breathe. He's still sitting there, still staring at me like a, I don't know, a, a dog. Uh, and then the wine from the plane and the, the cold. <laughs> oh God. Oh, I think I'm going to, oh, I want to get off. <laughs> grabs my hat and drags me through the turnstiles and up, up into the middle of Grand Central Station. <laughs> People aren't lying when they say this place is beautiful. It's got the kind of grandeur that makes you think you can borrow a life better than yours. Just, just for a moment. <laughs> Remind you of what fairy stories are like with, with all those chandeliers and it all softly beating the whispers of old movies. Love affairs worth waiting for and great lines said at the right time. It makes you think that... I don't believe in him. <laughs> 